Welcome to the new Bob CAD CAM 2007 series CAD CAM software. Completely rebuilt from the ground up, Bob CAD CAM now offers you all new powerful CAD and CAM features for your shop. Here you can see we have a brand new easy to understand user interface with all of the feature menus that run across the top of the software as you can see here as well as all of your actual feature icons right here allowing you easy and quick access to all of your most frequently used functions for CAD design using text, dimensioning and viewing. Okay, here you can see a part file that we've loaded into the workspace that we've previously drawn in the new software. Here next to that you can see we have a brand new cam tree manager. This cam tree manager allows you to build an actual job. It's very easy to work with and as you can see here all we have to do is click on the milling area and actually right click our mouse and access all of the actual two and a half axis and three axis cutting features. For example we have profiling, pocketing, facing and 2D engraving. Below that we have brand new Z-level roughing, Z-level finishing, planar, spiral and radial toolpath op operations as well as an all new equidistant offset contour toolpath that maintains an exact step over for your models no matter what the surface topology is. Below that we have our new 3D engraving. Above these we have all of your standard drilling operations that are completely user definable and offer multi-feature capability within one cycle. Okay, let's go ahead and choose the three axis operation Z-level finish for example. As you can see that automatically loads Z-level finishing into the job tree. What we need to do now is we need to tell the tree that this particular part is associated with the Z-level finish. So we select it and then by right clicking our mouse and choosing OK, that now loads the part file into that particular feature. Simple as that. We need to do that because we're basically telling the cam tree that if we want to make a change in the job tree later it will automatically and associatively upgrade or update the tree for reposting. Okay, let's go ahead into our Z-Level Finish feature now by choosing Edit. This brings up a new series of boxes offering us the capability or ability of changing different attributes for cutting. Here we have our approach and entry. Here we have different lead-ins and lead-outs for our toolpath that are adjustable in length. Then we have linking. How do we want the links to be in our toolpaths? Do we want to follow the contour or use a horizontal vertical or spiral link? Here we have more options for programming with the tool tip or tool center. Then we have parameters for entering in a cut amount. For example, let's go ahead and change the cut amount here to 0.25. We can actually add an additional allowance in X, Y, and Z as well. For models that have large holes that are represented by cylindrical shapes, you can choose to ignore those holes in, the cutting the, in creating the tool path or cutting those holes. Here we have processing, where if we want to machine the entire model, the entire model we use all, or innermost only, or outermost only aspects of the model. We can also process the toolpath for machining by area or by level. Lastly, we have the tools. Bobcat has a complete tool database or tool library, allowing you to set the optimum system feeds and speeds. They're completely modifiable, or you can manually change them. Here you can see we have, we're operating basically at 100%. We can change that if we want to. Once we've entered in the tool that we want for this particular operation, we simply click OK. And now we can go straight to the feature again, right click and choose Compute Toolpath. Bobcad software has added very powerful Z-level and other 3D cutting toolpath operations to the new series software. Very efficient very effective and relatively quick as well. Once the toolpath has been created it's automatically displayed on the model. Once again it's fully associative with the tree so we can go back later on even after we've loaded other features into the job tree and simply change a parameter or variable and then have it automatically update the job tree for us so if we need to repost this job later it's very easy to do. Here you can see our toolpath on the, on the model right here. Okay, 
So now, let's say we're ready to go and we want to go ahead and post this out. We simply go to the top of the tree, right click, and choose post. And what that'll do is create the G-code program for this particular tree or feature right here, as you can see, in the posting window. Okay, so that's pretty much um, the, the complexity of the system. All of the different machining operations are easy to use and once again because it is a fully associative tree you can make your changes and repost your jobs as needed and you can also turn on and turn off features in posting simply through going into the cam tree and actually either removing or going ahead and choosing to post or not to post certain features. Take for example you want to create a stock for this part. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll choose a two-dimensional view and then we'll go ahead into our rectangle feature and of course that automatically loads that into the data manager as you can see here. We'll go ahead and sketch a rectangle and then simply click and drag a rectangle box over our part and there it is. Let's say for example that this is our stock. Now we can go back into the job tree or into the tree manager and we can actually click on milling stock and edit this. So for example let's say we want to use, I don't know, aluminum. Top of stock, Z0, stock thickness 6.5, no problem. Click OK. Now we go to select our actual stock geometry as you can see there. Now we can change the view or rotate that and you can see there's our stock. Once again, Bobcad Cam software is very easy to use and is effective for machining all of your two or three axis parts. I'm sure that you'll find a lot of pleasure in owning this system for your shop.